All right, I'm here to make money, so are you. You know that our thesis has been talking about gaming coins, NFTs, things in the metaverse, and you know, you know I've been raving about layer twos. So this coin, Immutable X, that we're gonna be talking about today, encapsulates both. I'm gonna be showing you guys a layer two scaling solution that I recently ran into that's been appreciating in price that I still think might be a little bit undervalued, so pay attention. <music> This content is brought to you by Fundamental Secrets. Get coin calls, all of my coin calls, coaching, as well as the greatest digital course on planet Earth. It is currently 40% off. Go to the fundamentalsecrets.com. Catch you guys on the other side. What's going on, everybody? Alex back with another video, and I got some research here for you guys. I've been going over some layer twos, trying to find the next best thing, of course, because you know I'm trying to make money at a higher percentage than Ethereum. I mean, I have most of my money in Ethereum, but I don't want to be a dinosaur anymore, right? I want to be on a new cutting edge of cryptocurrency. So today we're going to be talking about a layer two scaling solution that has its unique way of doing it. So they're not actually scaling tokens, they're only scaling NFTs. So this is a unique spot for it. It could have like, you know, specific signature in the layer two scaling space. So if you appreciate this content, do us both a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and just do me one quick favor. Just click that share button and share it with your friend. Okay, let's talk about, you know, more cryptocurrency stuff together. Let's build a community that we can all thrive in. And of course, leave a comment below if you guys want me to talk about a coin, you want me to show your coin. As long as you didn't make it in your basement for $200 on the Binance Smart Chain, you know, maybe we can work something out. But yeah, seriously, guys, let's jump into the actual topic at hand. As you can see here, Immutable X or IMX has been appreciating pretty nice, to be honest. It's up 14.6%. Um, and it's just been on a straight rally. Now, the reason why it caught my attention, because as you can see here, we're kind of coming back up to its all-time high. So I look for tokens that are either one, 50% or more down from its all-time high, or two, coins that are potentially breaking out of all-time high that can appreciate by large percentages, right? That's usually what I look for. So on the 14 day, it's already up 160%. And like I said, typically I won't buy into things like this, but I'm looking for something that can maybe break the all-time high and give us some more percentages. And they have a ridiculous background. So I'm pretty optimistic about this coin. Now, if we click over here on markets, they're pretty liquid, but I wanna show you something. They're not actually on Coinbase or Binance, which are like the two biggest exchanges on the market. There's like where most of the capital comes from. Now they are on FTX, and I do believe that that is the reason why it recently pumped. So this has some potential to the upside if they get listed on some of these other exchanges. Now, if we come to the website, as you can see here, the first layer two for NFTs on Ethereum, and that's very, very important because they're specifically talking about only NFTs. They wanna get the specific niche um, in cryptocurrency instead of just trying to attack it all, which I think is a really, really good way to go about it. Um, there's so many different protocols like Oracle solutions and stuff like that that require kind of like a specific use case. Like there's no generalized Oracle. I think Chainlink is really close to a scam because a lot of people don't use it, right? People are using centralized exchanges and customizable Oracles right now. Um, and I think maybe in a layer two space, this might go the same route. We might see a whole ecosystem of unique signatured layer twos. Now, Polygon is getting the most adoption, but the fact that they're attacking it from a different angle from Polygon, instead of making decentralized exchanges and they're focusing on NFTs, it's actually really smart. It's really, really smart. They're not stepping on the toes of giants, if that makes sense. So Immutable X is doing something very specific and it might actually solve the hair on fire problem that we always talk about in this channel. Now, as you read here, it's basically just saying a limitless exchange protocol and they're just talking about NFTs. And of course they have these features here, zero gas fees for peer-to-peer -peer trading, set your own trading fees, no custodial risk, which is really important. Some layer twos actually have custodial risk and they don't actually own the assets. Users keep their private keys, it's big. They claim to have scalability of 9,000 transactions per second, which is pretty good. And it's not a centralized sidechain, which is, you know, a lot of sidechains are coming out that have issues like this. I've talked about a couple of them on the channel here. Um, secured by Ethereum. They're doing it the smart route, in my personal opinion. They're taking the liquidity from Ethereum. They're doing it the way that Polygon did. They're scaling from layer one ETH to create this layer two environment, right? So that I think, you know, just focusing on Ethereum is probably the way you want to start with most of these layer twos. And then maybe you want to transition uh, to other blockchains. Okay. Now they're saying also any NFT that is created and traded on Immutable X is 100% carbon neutral. That's obviously uh, a good thing because, you know, there's a lot of issues with proof of work uh, consensus mechanisms. Now, if we briefly just look at the over overview here on the white paper. You can see that they're the first layer two scaling solution for non-fungible tokens on Ethereum. Instant trading, massive scalability, zero gas fees for minting and trading, all without compromising user or asset security. Immutable X is the most technically advanced solution for NFT scaling ever built. Developed by Starkware's powerful Stark 
power and roll-up technology. The IMX token is native ERC-20 utility token of the Mutable X protocol, which users can earn by conducting pro network activities such as trading, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. So they use this token in, of course, NFT sales as well as some transactions. They're saying it's free uh, peer-to-peer transactions. But if you actually trade on the marketplace, I believe there is a transaction fee that you have to pay. So very interesting. Now, if we look at the marketplace that they have now, they have a lot of games uh, that you guys probably have already heard of, like Gods Unchained, also Alluvium, um, is looking, as you can see from this article right here, to jump on Immutable X, and it's because of some of these unique features. You maintain self custodies of your NFT. This is huge because a lot of layer twos don't actually do this with the same levels of security as the main chain Ethereum, something not seen in alternative scaling solutions like Matic or XDAI, right? So it's a different type of L2. And I think it's smart that they do it this way because. NFTs, they're like art, right? So if you actually have custody over your art, it, it makes people feel a little bit more comfortable. And that's why a lot of the biggest creators in the NFT space, they focus on Ethereum specifically because the layer twos are basically not there. So I'm telling you guys, this might be a very good, um, unique situation for this project right here. Now, of course, they have adoption of multiple um, you know, projects. The biggest one is Alluvium. Uh, from what I've seen in recent history. But in general, they have some big adopters and some big partners. Now, if we come over here, you can see that IMX is trading live on FTX, which is one of the biggest exchanges crypto. But like I said before, you know, we could get a pump uh, from a Binance or a Coinbase listing. You know I like to find the coins earlier on before they even get posted on Coinbase. And this is an opportunity that could present itself in the future. It could be a catalyst for the price to increase. Now, community size is relatively... Uh, you know, the same as others with similar market cap. They have 143K followers, so nothing out of the ordinary. They're getting pretty good engagement. It looks like real followers. It doesn't look like they're paying anybody or doing anything sketchy or, you know, artificial. Uh, so pretty good marketing on that side. And if we look into the actual token, this is where they lack, in my personal opinion. It's fairly centralized. So they're holding 51.74% uh, for ecosystem development, user rewards, and developer grants. So they're giving it out, but they control it. And that's a problem for me. They're holding 25% to project development, and there's only about 20% going to token sales from the public, and they actually have a private sale as well. So when it comes to the emissions, I I'm not liking it in that perspective in my personal opinion, uh, just to get straight to the point. Now, if we look into the team very briefly, I know these videos, I want to keep them a little bit shorter so you guys can get kind of an overview perspective. And if you want me to make more videos about Mutable X diving in extreme detail, like those 30 to 45 minute videos, please leave a comment below. But just to go over the brief features and like what I like and what I don't like, if we look at the team here, he also doesn't look like he's well established. James has jumped from business to business. He even said that he was a lead front end developer for one year, like one year at a job. And he's been, you know, a CEO for multiple companies. Like he was a CEO and co-founder of this company. And then he went back to a lead front end developer. Like he's just jumped all around. And you know what, what I like to say, chase two rabbits, catch none, even though it does add to his experience, you know, I would like him to have like one successful project rather than all of these business ventures, development manager, co-founder, CEO, like he's been all over. Um, so, that's just my personal opinion. Maybe it has nothing to do with the video at hand, but that's the way I look at it. Also, you can see that there's some people from the industry that have paid their company a lot of money. Now, I'm not talking about Immutable X specifically, but Stark was the company that actually came out with the actual underlying scaling solution of this protocol, like the tech that makes it different. Um, was made by Starkware, and they've had huge, huge investments. 50 million Series C round, led by Sequoia Capital, um, which is a big company in cryptocurrency. They've raised a lot of money. Uh, they're a billion dollar company that created this cryptocurrency with a market cap of uh, 1.8 billion, I believe, as of we're making this video. Let me just double check. No, 1.5 billion, excuse me. So a lot of credibility, a lot of investors, a unique hair on fire solution, right? Again, just go over specifically, they're doing NFTs only and they're actually giving you custodial rights in a layer two scaling solution. So pretty interesting. I thought I should definitely bring awareness around this coin. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this, guys. Catch you in the next one.